Hey Design family, Kitty here, cheerful to see you in Interaction Treasure. This series is especially dedicated to the navigation. In this video, we are going to see the circle grow animation. Actually, in this uh, interaction, there is a three kind of interaction is associated here. The first interaction is Nav menu. When we hover it, the circle, that purple circle will grow, guys. So once we are clicking it, the circle grow animation will be revealed. And the third uh, interaction is the text. Yeah. It's, it looks so good, right? So we are see these things in step by step. So first we are going to see how to do that now menu. Then second the circle growth. Third thing is text animation. There is no more wait guys. We are entered into that canvas. Yeah. I have to tell you the one more important thing is um, we are providing the starter kit. Yeah, there is a no need to design again and again because this is interaction treasure. So there is no need to design spacing, color. We don't focus on it. Only the uh, crystal focus is for prototyping, guys. So first we are going to see in step one is we are do the now menu. So just copy that now menu and just paste it here. My helpless, it will be pasted here. Just drag it here, and the another thing we need is the purple circle. Uh, what we are trying to achieve is when we hover it, the purple circle will grow, right? So we also provide that purple circle as well. So just copy it and paste it here. So it is pasted in the above line. So we need it in the back side. So just drag it to back side and again click the option key and drag it for another duplicate. So when we are click the ellipse, it will be like that. So just delete it guys. Select the default frame and click the option key and drag it here. So this is a hover state actually. The default state should be in the black color. So just drag this ellipse to the downside. So this is ready for the first interaction. The second uh, thing is what we are trying to achieve is one, once we hover it, the purple will grow. Then we click it, the horizontal navbar is become the closed navbar. And when we hover the closed navbar, it will become black, right? So first stage we completed the default and hover. Second thing is close, right? So just click the hover frame and again press the option and drag it. Just click it, the two line, and uh, so first we have to select the first line and uh, change the rotation angle to 35, and again click the second line and change it to minus 35. You have to select the both and balance it, uh, just like alignment. So rename it to close, and uh, we we need uh, another circle, guys. So because when we hover it, it will become the black, right? So just press the O and press the shift as well to get the 88 pixel circle. So if you didn't get it, just type the 88. Oh my illness, this is ash. This look very odd. So we go to the black. So just drag it here. Yeah, this comes very well, but uh, it will be in the upfront. So just drag it to the bottom and again uh, click the close again. I will press the option and drag it here and click the circle and the so this is a close hover so there is no need to move it so just rename it we have to move the circle here so just move it to the down so this four guys are ready for the component preparation so I will select all the fours and click create multiple components and click the campaign as variant and rename this component as now menu wow it's ready for prototyping so just zoom it for uh, going to the prototyping there is two way one is directly click the prototype and the other thing is press the shift T shortcut to go enter into the prototype mode now click this and drag it so first we are uh, choosing while hovering because this interaction will trigger using the while hovering. The second thing is uh, make sure it's uh, smart enemy. Third thing is ease out and make it 300 millisecond because uh, it start fast and then very slow. That looks a very smooth animation. So do it as 
so again drag it this close to close hover the frame and make sure it's while hovering trigger and um, the transition is easy out that's fine wow it replicated <laughs> mind blowing guys so we uh, the now menu is ready for prototyping so we have to check it now so just select this frame because uh, just the component checking is not give the real experience so just copy it and paste it okay we are again enter into the design mode so just copy this menu and uh, i give you the area for pasting so just make sure it will be in that circle yeah most of the nav menu in the top right so uh, we give the place for that so enter into the again prototype mode just press the shift you enter into the prototype so add the flow and uh, enter into the flow mean prototype mode yeah it's loading we are going to see our first uh, interaction when we hover it it seems very smooth guys so our first interaction has come very well we have to check the another thing the close is so again enter into the prototype mode and check how the close will work guys any guess how it works yeah <laughs> there is no more guess we have to check it <laughs> Yeah, this has also come very well. So our first step is successfully done, guys. So we have to move back to default. This is ready for production. Yes. <laughs> okay. We move into the second step. As I mentioned, there is three step. First step is now we know that's completely done. So we are moved to second step. Yeah, I already said uh, we uh, we provide you that. Uh, even little circle as well we have to provide it. there is no more design happened here only prototyping 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 <laughs> so just uh, select it and uh, command b that circle my helpless it will be placed here so we have to place it here okay this is perfectly here but uh, what we are trying to achieve in this step is once we click it the circle will grow in the back side of the now menu we have we try to achieve this so just uh, right click it and send to back yeah it hide it now where it is where the circle we have to know where it is okay so just uh, press the command y to enter into the outline mode means skeleton mode so here you can see this circle yeah this guy is, this guy is hide here we find him okay so again command uh, press press command y so again uh, escape from this skeleton mode so press option key and drag it so we have the second frame and one thing we have to make sure is this now bg that circle should be in up front because this is the up front layer we have to make sure in this also the layering is too important guys in smart animate and prototyping because uh, that's the important thing here and uh, press k for scaling the circle will scale so keep scaling up to the black will hide yeah it hide finally so once they are enter into the navigation world there is no more default we enter into the close yeah okay we get it the two screens so again we enter into the prototype mode and we press the k right so it is in the scale mode so we back to the normal mode just press the v to back to normal mode and drag this to this screen and yeah the on click trigger it's perfect smart animate that also very perfect but we move to the slow that gives a very smooth animation so we move to the slow 600 that's completely perfect and again choose this yeah because the user click the close it back to the main screen right oh, sorry 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 we have to click this blue circle it should into the main so we don't need 600 just 400 it's enough 
it's perfect we enter into the mode so we hover it and get it yeah we get it guys finally we get it so our step 2 is completely done so finally we enter into the step 3 yeah none other than the text animation just go into the step 3 and select this two text copy enter into the design mode press shift e and command v to paste paste it and uh, one one more time we have to confirm it what we are trying to achieve here in the in this text animation so just hover it we are trying to achieve this kind of text animation so again back to the canvas and select this two text and press shift e this is our text and again press the option command g to become it uh, frame and rename it as default that's fine and uh, select uh, make sure the clip content is selected and now we reduce it to 72 i think it's perfect 72 so again duplicate it just press the option and drag it and rename it hover so this is ready for the component so select two things and create multiple component and combine as variant and rename it nav item and enter into the prototype mode yeah it's ready for prototyping so just drag it the trigger will be while hovering and slow will become the ease out because that makes a smooth ride so that this kind of smooth is enough so it's ready for test so just select the main screen again enter into the design mode and press V yeah <laughs> my illness it will be in top left we just align it into the center we have to check it here now <laughs> guys we forgot to do this animation <laughs> in this home it should be move to top the bottom text will be in the upper that any that kind of animation we are trying to achieve now you go to check it will be updated yeah we fix it yeah i accept it we are designer we are no more uh, try to fix the errors actually but this is little thing so we have to do that guys so we done it so and change it to about okay see let's see oh my less it will when we hover the about it will enter to the home that's very bad thing so we have to rename that also about So just select it and the center align it because it's bit bottom. So now check it. Wow, it's completely done. It's it's very fine, guys. So uh, you thought it's done, right? Actually, it's not done yet because there is a certain transparency has appeared here that nav item. So we have to fix that. So just select it and press the option key for duplicate it press the option key again and drag it to duplicate it so once they click it just make sure everything will be in the zero percent opacity and uh, enter into the prototype mode and make it as a after delay one millisecond and slow 200 millisecond that's enough for the text enemy and when they close it hey arrow you have to go to the screen so this is 400 millisecond that's completely fine but we move into 200 and this screen 
should go to this as an after delay 1 millisecond and we make sure it is 450 millisecond now we have to check it how it will comes however this interaction is completely fine and click it we get it guys we get it and we remove this transparent error so once they click it they get the circle and then they get the text and again we click it back to the circle hope you guys get this uh, key concepts and uh, happy prototyping actually as a designer i have to say the happy designing but uh, this is the interaction treasure right so happy prototyping and for more videos and uh, uh, for more uh, kind of stuff uh, 